right, welcome back and thank you so much for staying with us here on Morning Live. Now, yesterday, the Polukwane High Court dismissed a 3 million rand claim for damages by the family of deceased Lena Michael Komape. The five-year-old five -year five fell to his death into a pit toilet at uh, Mahlodumela Primary School outside Polukwane in 2014. To talk to us more about the court's uh, judgment and what it means, we now joined via Skype from Limpopo by Shiniz Lena Boom, Shiniz is Section 27's um, education attorney. Thank you so much for joining us and welcome to Morning Live. Morning, Palesa. Thank you for having me. Now, many people are describing the judgment as sad and very unfortunate. And uh, Section 27 is very disappointed with the judgment. Now, yeah, indeed we are. Um, I think we had made out a, a claim for general damages. Um, which we were hopeful would be paid uh, would be would be determined b because the state had already admitted liability and it was just for the judge to determine the quantum. Mm. Uh, um, so we were a little bit disappointed to note that this claim was actually dismissed. In terms of the constitutional damages, we knew that we were pushing the bounds a bit, but we were very hopeful in our case. Um, so it was also quite disappointing that the judge did not feel that a, a constitutional damages award would be necessary in this case. Mm -hmm. it, it must have been a, a very difficult day for the Komape family yesterday. You've been you know, in contact with them. How have they taken this judgment? Yeah, um, not, not well at all. I think it was a very somber mood after the judgment. And we tried our best to explain what it's meant after going through the judgment, um, just to give them an understanding of what exactly the judge's reasoning was. Mm. Um, and as I'm sure you can imagine, they were very disappointed. Yeah, I can imagine. And initially, as, as, as you said, Shin, is that you uh, were actually looking for 2 million rands for grief and 940,000 for emotional trauma and shock. Now, of course, the judge coming out saying that Michael Komapa's siblings, Maria and Onika Komapa, were awarded 6,000 rand each for medical treatment. Will this really assist the family going forward? Look, I mean, this was, we in our original claim, we had asked for eight uh, sessions for the twins and then a further 10,000 for uh, the other brother. So, and this was based on the assessment from the psychologists on how many counseling sessions they would need going forward. Um, so, yeah, like you say, it was the six sessions for each of the twins, but we were also surprised that there was no mention of most of the, the the other child for the 10,000 that wasn't mentioned mm -hmm. but fr from from where you are as section 27 I know you may not have finished reading the judgment as yet but from where you stand in now you you after studying it the little that you were able to go through who do you think this judgment benefits the most and what do you think will happen with some um, feature cases that are similar to, to, the, to this one? We've heard, of course, the judge say the Department of Basic Education should provide the court with um, a plan on school sanitation in Limpopo by the end of July. Do you think this will make it all the wrongs right? Um, you know, I actually have had a chance to go through the judgment. And what is quite interesting is the judge notes that the reasons that for not awarding constitutional damages was that he did not feel that a punitive, clay, a punitive award was necessary in this regard. And that something like the structural incident that he did put in place would be more beneficial for the general public and the learners of Limpopo. So um, his, his reasoning is that this award, this, this structural interdict is going to try and get some change in terms of making sure that the toilets in Limpopo to, uh, 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 schools are fixed. Um, we're, we're hopeful. Um, as you know, the president's directive in respect of this is already out where the minister is in the process of conducting an audit of, of schools in the country. Um, but there is also this additional element of the fact that it is going to be supervised by the court. So hopefully that will prompt some action. Mm.
Mm. And, and, and as we said, of course, uh, the court has actually instructed the department to provide a plan for sanitation in Limpopo. Uh, but do, do you really think this is a blow for all learners from the rural areas in South Africa who were actually um, looking at this judgment, that the judgment will be able to bring about the desired change in terms of holding the Department of Basic Education accountable? Yes, I think that was the part that is kind of missing because we have children who are going to schools in using unsafe toilets and a worst case scenario, losing their life like Michael did. And mm. we're giving the Department of Education time to fix something that should have been fixed a long time ago. All right, we'll leave it at that. But so are you looking into appealing the judgment maybe? Yes, I okay. think on our initial read of it i think we see that there are prospects of us uh, wanting to appeal obviously this would be based on thorough consultation with the legal team as well as uh, on the instruction of the kamape family all right shiniz thank you so much for coming through many thanks to shiniz lender boom section 27's education attorney talking to us about the uh, michael kamape judgment all right we're taking a quick ad break when we come back we talk to uh, the health